Hello? Welcome to Mr. Ding Ding. An ancient 100 million year old creature with sharp teeth, poison resistant body, and the ability to transform into a balloon makes it unattractive to predators. The poison in its body could potentially cause it to die alongside predators, leading to the extinction of dinosaurs, the rule of Titanoboa, and the defeat of Megalodon. The story revolves around a deadly poison ball that has no opponent in a hundred million years, and a demon lord who wiped out millions of species 10,000 years ago. Even humans can only fight it to a draw, acting flirtatious and threatening to eat it. That's our story for today. The text describes the process of eating a pufferfish, a irritable fish, followed by shrimp and crabs. A screw is used as a tool, similar to cracking sunflower seeds. Scientists suggest no need to try anymore, as its teeth could crack open a coral and eat its polyps. The speaker mentions that pufferfish eats various objects, including cans and wires. They caution against using fingers, as they can harm the fish. Gareth Fraser, a scientist, discovered that pufferfish teeth resemble shark teeth. Fraser discovered a simple gene for pufferfish, teeth replacement, which is unique to humans. This gene is designed to be taken, unlike many animals that can change their teeth once in their lives. Fraser is excited to try transplanting this gene on himself. In Beijing, replacing a few teeth in a pufferfish can cost as little as buying a BMW. Pufferfish teeth are considered too scary, and experts advise extracting them when a pufferfish comes ashore. Pufferfish, with good teeth and appetite, can eat everything in the tank. The largest is over half a meter, while the smallest is a glass marble. They are not very fast swimmers and can bite everything in the tank. The pufferfish evolved to have a second weapon balloon, which allows it to inhale large amounts of air or water and transform into a round ball of thorns, which cannot be swallowed and can be catched. The text describes various creatures, such as an eel dislocating its chin, a fierce grouper struggling to swallow a water ball, and an alien octopus holding a large balloon helplessly. The text describes various creatures, including shorebirds, eagles, sharks, and whales, which don't follow rules. Pufferfish, for instance, doesn't use the mouth-stucking strategy, but instead, it's stuck in the throat. This behavior is similar to swallowing a whole lychee or a durian. The pufferfish's balloon power can sometimes be questioned by dolphins who play with it as a ball, or when encountering lance prawns, revealing the consequences of pinning it with a needle. Pufferfish, when faced with a demon lord human, becomes a shoe-polishing cloth, immune to poison. It can eat centipedes, scorpions, snakes, and noodles. The vertebrates possess the strongest toxin, tetrodotoxin, TTX, which is simple and effective, blocking nerve signal transmission, making it resistant to poisoning and adept at using poisons. Dolphins kicking pufferfish like balls are believed to be drug abusers, causing numbness and excitement in their hands and tongue. Scientists believe these dolphins are numb and excited, causing them to get themselves happy. Recent research suggests that TTX, if humans can control its toxicity, could be the most advanced narcotic. With only one injection, it can provide a local anesthetic for three days, similar to a cesarean surgery shot, from birth to initial recovery. After three days of wound healing, the last pain subsides, but this painkiller is not addictive and is considered the best painkiller and narcotic. TTX, a poison that is 1-200 times more deadly than cyanide, is currently uncontrollable by humans. Overtaking it can lead to adult death, and it is currently incurable if the lethal dose is exceeded. A person experiences numbness in their lips, tongue, face, and limbs, leading to lightness, vomiting, dizziness, and fainting. The nerve signals in the body are completely blocked, 
and the heart stops beating as it loses its nerve signals. Breathing stops, taking 20 minutes or 8 hours. If TTX dose is controlled accurately, nerve signals won't be completely blocked. However, TTX can't cross the blood-brain barrier and reach the brain, preventing it from completely blocking nerve signals. A poisoning symptom occurs when the body's heart rate and breathing drop to a low level, making the person appear dead but still awake. The family buries the person in a coffin, and three days later, they wake up in the coffin. Scientists have discovered that voodoo in Haiti uses TTX to create zombies by bringing living deed from coffins back to life and being manipulated by poison experts. The creatures, despite their cute appearance, are considered deadly. The speaker expresses a strong desire to eat a delicacy, a feeling that is described as worth dying for, due to its delicious taste and potential for not being poisoned. The human pufferfish is portrayed as a clever creature with delicious genes in their bodies that encourage eating and dying together, making the audience amazed. Scientists have discovered that pufferfish's cuteness is a genetic trait, and they were born to be artists. Male pufferfish takes weeks to draw a crop circle during courtship, while female pufferfish choose a male based on their sense of the circle. Female pufferfish inject toxin into rows, producing in the crop circle. No living creature, including humans, eats the poisonous fish row. A pufferfish master died suddenly while picking his teeth. A medical examiner discovered a remnant of pufferfish row in his fingernails, a deadly poison, but also a delicious delicacy. Humans must step back to avoid being called the demon lord. Ancient Egypt's morals and reliefs feature pufferfish, with half a pot of soap found in the tomb of a pharaoh. Experts suggest the ancient Egyptians played pufferfish as a bowling ball, and the gluttonous pharaoh must be buried alongside the pufferfish. In ancient China's classic of mountains and seas, Ye Yu lives in a mountain with a river called Dun Shui, which flows east into Yanmen, Lelong country. The river is home to a deadly fish, possibly the pufferfish, which was considered extinct by ancient Egyptians. The Chinese tradition of eating pufferfish to death is widely known, and consuming it is considered a delicacy worth dying for. Sudongpo posited that the demon gene within us, unable to resist food temptation, is present in all of us. The Chinese's wild consumption of pufferfish will be discussed further. The Japanese eat a more cultivated way, including pufferfish. A haiku in Japan called Read It Yourself has a strong Japanese feel and is thrilling and delicious. For over 200 years, pufferfish has been officially forbidden in Japan and is currently banned for consumption by the emperor, according to historical accounts. This prohibition was imposed by Toyotomi Hideyoshi. During the assembling of troops, samurai morale was disturbed by eating pufferfish, leading to Hideyoshi banning pufferfish over 200 years later, when Japanese Prime Minister Hirofumi Ito visited Shimono Seki. Heavy rain strands Ito Hirobumi in a liquor store, unable to purchase fresh ingredients. Fortunately, the proprietor serves him a thrilling meal. Ito Hibarumi, as the Prime Minister, repealed the 200-year pufferfish ban, making Shimono Seki, also known as Bakan, the distribution center of Japanese pufferfish culture. Five years later, he returned to Shimono Seki. The speaker enjoyed pufferfish soup and Li Hongjong, but preferred the pufferfish sashimi in Japan. The pufferfish masters cut the sashimi thin and shape it into a nice shape, serving it on the table for tasting. Pufferfish masters in Japan undergo five years of training to serve and rarely get poisoned, but there is a legend about their expertise. Japanese legal terms allow licensed pufferfish shops to have two poisoning accidents per year. Scientists discovered the secret of tetrodotoxin around Ito Hirobumi's time, and the demon lord, Huams, discovered a way to taste the delicacy without being poisoned. Scientists discovered that Pufferfish toxicity changes with seasons, 
suggesting it doesn't produce its own toxin due to its extensive consumption of poisonous sea creatures, despite being immune to poisonous substances. The pufferfish's toxins accumulate and protect it, as evidenced by a blue-ringed octopus's body, which contains the same poison as the pufferfish's. Scientists discovered that pufferfish use bacteria and toxins from other organisms to create poison in its own body, found only in its blood and viscera. The less bloody flesh and skin are safe for human consumption. Scientists identified pufferfish toxicity, with the fish roe being the most poisonous due to its protective role for offspring and the liver being the second most toxic due to detoxification and blood storage. Pufferfish masters focus on preventing blood or gut fragments from remaining on the fish's skin and flesh, ensuring proper blood flow and proper gut hygiene. Baizi, a delicacy in Japan, is made from testis, skin, and flesh, with the testis being the least toxic part. Fish skin salad, paired with fish fin wine, is a delicious and satisfying dish. The flesh, particularly sashimi, is the best providing an adrenaline rush and a taste experience that is perfect for pairing with wine. In Japan, a stew made from plain flesh and fish bones is known as the king of hot pot. To clean puffer fish, chefs use a specially locked iron box, adhering to a standard cleaning procedure for each organ. Cleaning puffer fish takes an hour and 60 liters of water, ensuring safety for diners. Yangzhong Island, located on the Yangtze River, is home to some of the world's wildest pufferfish diners. The Yangzhong people observed Japanese eating pufferfish, laughing at the joke, as they believed pufferfish did not poison them, as fish skin is poisonous. Yangzhong people braise fish skin in brown sauce, avoiding fish eyes. They enjoy a fish eye and egg stew, but liver is prohibited in Japan. Yangzhong people can eat it raw, but not imitate, Scientists warn that eating pufferfish's roe can lead to death, but a pufferfish house in Yangzhong offers fried puffer roe for free year-round. The boss claims to have discovered a unique method to break the secret of pufferfish roe's toxicity over 30 years of experimentation with animals and his own body. The shop sells safe pufferfish roes, and many customers visit to eat them and write their comments in a book before eating, which some find odd. An old master in Yangzhong explains the standard for cleaning a pufferfish. It requires no cuts on hands, light and strong scissors, and careful evisceration to avoid breaking internal organs. The fish bones should not be pricked by the hand. The remaining black congestion on the spine must be cut again to clean thoroughly and rinsed with water. The entire pufferfish is inedible, so the process should be done carefully. In Yangzhong, the standard for handling internal organs differs from Japan, requiring careful counting of fish, eyes, liver, rows, and intestines before cooking. The people in Yangzhong are known to be wild about eating pufferfish's liver and rows, possibly due to the pufferfish's breeding process. This unique cooking method allows for the preservation of the fish's internal organs and maintains its nutritional value. Farmed pufferfish are no longer able to eat seaborne poisons, resulting in no more toxins in their bodies. However, some Yangzhong people have a secret method to deal with this issue, as the most authentic way to eat pufferfish before farming is this. To braise pufferfish, use its liver to refine oil, as without it, the flavor of the fish will be lost. The pufferfish tastes similarly to ordinary river fish and there are at least 200 species of pufferfish worldwide. The Japanese government approves 22 pufferfish species for consumption, while only two species are approved in China. The poison ball suggests that humans failed to conquer pufferfish, and nature continues to use it as a warning. It's important to remember that humans are not omnipotent when dealing with nature. Okay, that's all for today's story. What are your thoughts after seeing today's video? Feel free to leave your comments below. I appreciate you seeing. Greetings! Have a look at the next video.